All right, welcome to St. Louis Family Martial Arts Academy. So we're back again with kind of the second lesson on our on our Filipino martial arts, our stick play. Remember, we had our different weapons that we used. We had the, the large stick, the full-size stick. We had the small stick. Recommended that you could use a ruler at home. And of course, we have you know our rolled-up piece of paper, which again is probably the most practical, safest thing for you to be using at home while you're practicing, while you're learning. Last week we did the five angles. We had angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four, angle five. We're gonna practice those again a little bit. So we'll start between the ear and the shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Now before we go on, we're gonna review our rules of a weapon. Remember focus, you've got to pay attention. You've got a long weapon in your hand that, that, that can be dangerous. You want to be very careful with that. Remember discipline. Listen and follow directions, not only my directions, but your parents' directions at home. Make sure you have good self-discipline. You know the difference between right and wrong. Do the right thing. And then, of course, the consequences that come with that if we don't listen and follow directions, we don't do the right thing. And then respect. Remember, the weapon is a lot of fun. You have to respect the power of the weapon, though. And don't forget, it does have the power to save a life. It also has the power to do harm, and we do not want to do that. So, so make sure we're very careful. Always follow these three rules right here. What we're going to do today is we're going to take some of those basic angles and we're going to go into what we call our single stick amarap. So these are three patterns that we're going to do. The, they're called the, the family of eight. We're going to do a downward figure eight, an upward figure eight, and a flat figure eight. We're also going to add in a double backhand. We're actually going to start with that. I want you to start with just kind of your normal, you know, traditional martial art position. We're just going to do a back fist. So we, if we do a back fist, we're going to use the back of our hand to strike and it's going to come on if I'm right-handed, it's gonna come off the left side of my body. So we have one, two, three. And then we do a low backhand and a high backhand. So we go one, two. What we're gonna do is we're not gonna add the stick into that. Now if I'm using, I'm gonna use the short stick because you'll have the piece of paper probably that's gonna be about the same size. I have a low backhand and a high backhand. We're gonna add that at the end of each set of our figure eights to create a pattern today. So we have low backhand, high backhand. Let's do one more of those. One, two. I'm going to go ahead and grab the big stick again just to show you the, the line of the, of the figure eights as we do them. I'm going to start with a downward figure eight. It's actually the simplest one to do. I'm going to put the hand on the chest, remember, right leg forward. We're not going to move the feet. We're not going to move our body too much. Just kind of let it naturally move as we do, do the strikes. A downward figure eight is simply an angle one and an angle two repeated over and over again. So we start between the ear and the shoulder. We have downward figure eight, down, bring it all the way up. Two, so we have angle one, bring the stick back up, angle two, bring the stick back up, angle one. So if we just do this in a pattern, it's just angle one, angle two. Now as we get better with the pattern, eventually we're gonna add in, when we start, we're gonna do downward figure eight five times. One, two, three, four, five hits. Then I'm gonna do my low backhand, bring the stick all the way back, and high backhand. So this is the first in the family of eight. So we do downward figure eight, five hits. One, two, three, four, five. And then we do low backhand, bring it back, high backhand. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have low backhand, bring it back. And you see sometimes I'll catch with my arm here so I don't come all the way back and hit myself with the stick. So I'm going to keep it under control and then a high back hand. Let's do one more. One, two, three, four, five. Low back hand, high back hand. So now we're going to switch to the upward figure eight. It's just following the opposite line. I'm going to start at the hip and work my way up to the shoulder. So I do one, drop my hand down. Then I come from the other hip to the shoulder. Two, three, four, five. All the way back to the beginning again. This one for a lot of students is kind of hard to get the concept of right away. It just feels a little bit foreign. It's a little bit different. So you have to be patient with it. So I'm going to start down here. One, two, three, four, five. Now after you get the feel of that, start making nice smooth circles with this. So instead of you know rigid one, two, three, four, five, it's going to flow a little bit better than that. Now hopefully if you're watching the tip of the stick, you can see that line. If I switch, I'm just going to grab the paper. You can still see it. If you watch the tip of it, imagine you have a, like a giant marker 
and you're making a giant magic marker figure eight. So what we do is we start here, we do five hits again. One, two, three, four, five, low backhand, high backhand. Now we can add those two techniques together. We have the downward figure eight. One, two, three, four, five. Low backhand, high backhand. Bring it over here, and then we go up and come up. One, two, three, four, five. Low backhand, high backhand. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Low backhand, high backhand. Now we're going to go up. One, two, three, four, five. Low backhand, high backhand. Now we add the third one for today. I'm going to use the short stick for this one. We're just going to do a flat figure eight. A flat figure eight is basically a really flat upward figure eight. It's an angle three and an angle four. Remember our basic angles. Angle three goes this way, angle four goes this way. All I'm going to do is point the tip of the stick down to the ground. So I have one, turn my hand over, point the tip of the stick down, two, three, four, five, and then just continually make that pattern. It's important when I come from the right, my palm is up, the tip of the stick is pointed down. When I go to the other side, I just turn my hand over, point the tip of the stick down, and go across. And then again, if I start on this side, one, two, three, four, five, low backhand, high backhand. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, low backhand, high backhand. So we have all three movements together now. We have downward figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, low backhand, high backhand, upward figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, low backhand, high backhand, flat figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, low backhand, high backhand. One more time. Downward figure eight, two, three, four, five, low backhand, high backhand, upward figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, low backhand, high backhand, flat figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, low backhand, high backhand. All right, nicely done. So, just a quick review. Remember the rules of the weapon. Focus, you have to pay attention. The, the weapon extends your body, it makes you bigger. Discipline, listen and follow directions. Do the right thing and you won't experience the consequences. Respect, respect the power of the weapon. It does have the power to save a life, but it also has the power to do harm, so be very careful. All right, let's salute out. Thank you, have a great day.